Our story kicks off with the unique Finnish word Sisu. It's like the superhero of emotions. Imagine a burst of invincible willpower that pops up right when you need it the most. It's a pity we can't translate it directly into English because we sure could use a word like that. It's three years into World War II, so we're talking 1944. Finland has just shaken hands with the Soviet Union, their deal. They've agreed to shoo away the German troops who were crashing at their place. But guess what? The Nazis aren't the most gracious house guests. They're upset and causing a whole lot of trouble on their way out. The Germans have decided to throw a massive destructive tantrum. They're wrecking towns, obliterating roads and bridges, and even nabbing people. It's like they've decided to play a high-stakes game of capture the flag. Only it's people, not flags, and the whole place is their playground. Step right up, folks, to the grand circus that is Rapid Movie Recap. Give us a hearty subscribe, hit that like button with all the force of a popcorn kernel stuck in your teeth, and make sure notifications are on so we can haunt your device with our magnificent film summaries at all hours of the day and night. And dear viewers, if you find our fast talking a bit too rapid for your delicate ears, worry not. Just give that CC button a click and boom. Our speedy word jumble is laid out before your eyes like the greatest treasure map to cinematic glory. And now behold, below lies the true test of your fandom. It's not enough to just listen, watch, and read our words. Nay, we invite you to proudly wear our logo, sip coffee from our mugs, and even sleep under our themed blankets. So, go ahead, peruse our delightful merchandise array below like a bazaar of capitalist joy, and show the world just how much you love Rapid Movie Recap. It's for the noble cause of keeping us churning out those snappy film briefs you so love. Chapter 1. The Gold in a place called Lapland, there is a man named Atami Korpi who is searching for gold. He has a small dog that accompanies him on his journey. Atami discovers a small piece of gold, and he decides to stay in that area for a few nights. However, during his stay, he hears enemy planes flying above him. After some time, Atami is thrilled to stumble upon a large amount of gold hidden in the soil. He is very excited about this discovery. He collects all the gold he has found and begins his journey towards the nearest bank to keep it safe. Chapter 2. The Nazis A group of Nazis, led by Bruno Heldorf, is moving through the land, taking a group of women as prisoners. Atami and his dog encounter a small group of Nazis while he is riding on his horse. The Nazis stop him and demand to search his belongings. Atami quickly sends his dog away to hide, and the Nazis start shooting at him. One of the Nazis, who is in charge, discovers Atami's gold and begins to mock him, saying they will take it. In response, Atami defends himself by grabbing a knife and swiftly attacking the lead Nazi, killing him. He then fights back against the remaining Nazis, using a combination of stabbing and shooting, even using one of them as a shield for protection. Atami continues his journey on the horse. Meanwhile, Heldorf and his fellow Nazis come across the bodies of their comrades and a piece of gold that was left behind. They decide to track down Atami, following his trail and shooting at him. Although the horse manages to outrun the gunfire, they unintentionally run over a landmine, causing the horse to be killed instantly. Atami mourns the loss of his horse before finding a hiding spot to protect himself. Chapter 3. The Minefield Heldorf and the other Nazis track down Atami and trap him, leaving him with no escape. However, Atami notices a nearby mine and cleverly throws a rock at it, causing an explosion that creates a smoke screen, helping him to hide from the Nazis. The Nazis, unaware of Atami's exact location, start shooting in his direction. Heldorf decides to send a young Nazi soldier to check if Atami is still alive. In a daring move, Atami hurls a mine towards the approaching Nazi, causing a deadly explosion that eliminates the soldier. Seeing this, Heldor sends two more men to go after Atami, but they end up running into the hidden mines and meet a similar fate. Despite the ongoing gunfire from the Nazis, Atami manages to find a shield to protect himself from the bullets. In a moment of bravery, one of the female prisoners named Aino volunteers, along with another woman, to take action and help Atami in some way. Chapter 4. The Legend as the Nazis continue their advance, Heldorf converses with one of his comrades who has discovered Atami's dog tags. This comrade is aware of Atami's history of serving in the Winter War and the tragic loss of his family at the hands of the Russians. Atami has gained a fearsome reputation as a merciless killer, earning the nickname Kostje or the Immortal. Heldorf is determined to obtain the gold because he knows that the Nazi party's power is fading and the gold would secure their retirement in peace. Atami, on the other hand, evades the Nazis by running and hiding until their convoy passes by. He takes cover underneath one of their vans and severs a gas line to mask his scent from the Nazis' attack dogs. 
Heldorf and his men become suspicious when they detect the smell of gas. They catch Atami and attempt to kill him, but he strikes a match, igniting the gas covering his body. He sets himself on fire momentarily and then dives into a nearby lake to extinguish the flames. The Nazis open fire at him, but Heldorf waits for Atami to resurface for air. Heldorf then commands three Nazis to pursue Atami on a boat. Two of the men dive into the water, but Atami swiftly kills them by slitting their throats and takes the remaining air supply. The third man tries to escape on the boat, but Heldorf orders him to be shot for attempting to desert the group. Atami manages to board the boat and escape, but Heldorf captures Atami's dog. Chapter 5. Scorched Earth Atami arrives in a town that has been ravaged by the brutal tactics of the Nazis. He discovers an abandoned gas station where Heldorf sends his dog, attached with a stick of dynamite, to deliver it to Atami. Atami manages to remove the dynamite, but the explosion throws him off. Heldorf, along with his henchmen Wolf and Schutz, appear on the scene and capture Atami, tying him up by the neck to hang him. They also steal the remaining gold from him. However, Atami finds a way to save himself from the noose by hooking one of his wounds caused by the explosion onto a nearby pole. The next morning, two German pilots come to the gas station to refuel their aircraft. They encounter Atami and try to provoke him, but Atami fights back, stabbing one of the pilots to death and knocking the other unconscious. When the unconscious pilot regains consciousness, Atami forces him to fly closer to where the Nazi platoon is located. Atami then hangs the pilot and leaves him as a message for the Nazis to find. Chapter 6. Kill M. All Atami catches up to the convoy as they are heading towards Norway in an attempt to escape with the stolen gold. He manages to acquire some guns and distributes them to Aino and the other women. Atami pulls a Nazi soldier onto the street, where he is run over by a tank. The women, now armed, unleash a barrage of bullets upon the remaining Nazis. Atami takes control of a tank and pulls Wolf out, leaving him to be captured by the women. Meanwhile, Heldorf and Schutz meet with their pilot to make their escape. However, Heldorf unexpectedly shoots Schutz in the head and departs with the pilot alone. Atami catches up to them and opens fire with the tank, hitting the pilot. Atami then uses his pickaxe to latch himself onto the departing plane. He breaks his way inside the aircraft, where he confronts Heldorf. Heldorf relentlessly beats Atami, even utilizing a static line to cut into his face. Nevertheless, Atami seizes the opportune moment to grab the line and attach it to a nearby bomb, dropping it from the plane with Heldorf still attached. Heldorf meets his explosive demise as he plummets to the ground. Atami proceeds to the cockpit, where he discovers that the pilot has also perished. Bracing himself, he prepares for the impending crash as the plane goes down. Final chapter. Haino and the other imprisoned women successfully hand over Wolf to the Finnish army, ensuring his capture. Meanwhile, Atami manages to free himself from a swamp and stumbles upon a motorcycle, happily reuniting with his faithful dog. Atami embarks on a journey to Helsinki, where he eventually arrives at a bank. As he enters, the people inside are taken aback by the sight of the dirt-covered prospector carrying his pickaxe. Atami approaches a teller and pours out all the recovered gold onto the counter. Finally breaking his silence as he has been silent throughout the entire story, Atami requests to receive large bills in exchange for the gold, explaining that they will be easier to carry. Hey there, movie enthusiasts, if you enjoyed this wild ride of a story, make sure to show some love to the creators and artists by watching the full movie at the link in the description below. Trust me, it's worth it. We've condensed all the action, drama, and ridiculousness into these quick recaps, but nothing beats the full cinematic experience. We appreciate your support and encourage you to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, Rapid Movie Recap, so you don't miss out on more thrilling tales in the future. We're here to keep you entertained. So, grab some popcorn, settle in, and click that link to enjoy the complete film. Remember, supporting the creators and artists is crucial in keeping the movie magic alive. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting recaps coming your way.